The premise is 24. You've 24 hours to make your work. It has to be done, it has to be finished. If you go to a painting show, nobody asks you to explain painting, or if you go to a sculpture show, nobody asks you, but invariably someone asks you to explain fucking printmaking, and you're going, no, why should I have to justify how I've made something? And also because we're not very strict printmakers, and, and in, in limited printmakers in particular, there are lots of very skilled people, but it's not about making perfect editions, it's about making art. So uh, I kind of get on my nerves that you have to explain, you know, or that you're expected to go, oh, printmaking, what is it? And you're going, fuck off. had a gallery in Limerick Printmakers for years and you, you, you have a massive opening night with you know, 200 people, 300 people, great party, everyone was thrilled. You might get 15 people in the door for the next week and a half after that. So you're going, well then all we need to have is an opening night. Do you know, all we need to actually have is a party. And that to me is much more interesting than making a piece, putting it in a frame, putting it in a gallery and waiting for someone to come in the door. Fine print have come down from Dublin um, for this, which is great from our point of view. Great screen printing crew in Dublin, and again, they, they they're operating in a way that we're quite interested in as printmakers. That they're you know they're going out into the public and working out there, so they're you know they're having to work commercially as well. Basically, the invite said you know fellow like-minded printers with a passion for for all things printing, and we're like, hey, that's us. <laughs> so up to now, we haven't really be, we've been collaborating with more artists and illustrators, but to actually collaborate with another print studio, it's, it's just opened up a whole new world for us as well, so it's great. I think it's a really, really nice way to work, and also you don't get too precious either, because you're like, right, when you got 24 hours, there's a deadline, it has to be done. So they bring a, a different kind of ethos on some ways to, we're a little more chaotic. Um, we don't intend to lose the chaotic nature of what it, I think that goes hand in hand with what Limerick Printmakers has always had is that element of uh, see what happens if we throw everything at it. So the 24 in a way fitted with a lot of the printmakers who work here. Um, we've got two down from Galway printmakers uh, from the print studio in Galway. So you've got a few others happening and then hopefully this will expand and we'll look at doing the international next year which will become a more global event. Getting a whole group of people together like this who can print and talk and drink and share ideas and print over each other's work and be gone the next day. I mean, this exhibition will be up tomorrow. It'll be gone the day after. You know, it's only up for a day. The 24-hour thing is about getting the people right as well. You know, you can go places, and we have done, you put in the wrong person who doesn't understand kind of what it's about on some levels, or they just want to make their own thing, or when you go to hang the show, they want to be in the important spot. And you're going, there isn't a fucking important spot. Do you know, there's, there's just a spot. bring 
bring in like-minded people who understand that actually this is this is an experience and a, and a way of talking to each other on some level and not about you looking better than this person or you you know being a better printmaker because that's fucking irrelevant you know it, it's it's not about that you know there, you see there's lots of these different people that are functioning like you print van paris are very like drive-by press which is very like what we're doing with Papa Press, and they're all kind of inspiring each other, but there are people who have a like-minded approach to printmaking going, actually, one, we could probably make a bit of a living out of it, but two, you can, you can instead of waiting for people to walk into a gallery, you can actually bring it to them. We're aiming aim for a common, uh, participative uh, uh, way of um, getting people to learn about, uh, about screen printing precisely for us but this uh, project was to yeah uh, present every single uh, printing process to the most people you, you can so yeah it felt like uh, our our concept met completely the idea that Stephanie had about his her project so, so something like this in Paris would be amazing <laughs> yeah it's so good like everyone's so nice here they got you got such a great space it's uh, it's really refreshing, really good. Yeah, so they just pull up on the side of the street, they print, they distribute free and they drive off. Is, is is a way of people being able to put what they want, you know, print what they want, you know, propaganda what they want, you know, paste it out. You know, so there's there's a whole agenda as to how you can use the the idea of uh, making multiples as opposed to making art. So, you know, 25, 30, probably longer years later, every time you put it up, you go, no, f yeah, that worked. Do you know what I mean? So, so there's a whole different thing to it, and actually, that's the whole point of it. The funny thing is, from I've done this a, a good few times now, and each time it's been very different as to what's come out. You know, so you'd be working on one thing, and then at you know seven in the morning, you have people like inking up big planks that they've pulled out of a skip out of the back of things and and creating big sculptures. So it's 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 we'll see. will work to a deadline anyway. So if you compress the deadline, then people are, are forced to work into a very tight amount of time. The majority of the people we brought function uh, a bit similar to me, like they, they, they worked for the night. And at about two, three in the morning, you have to trust what decision you make. Whether you've had a glass of wine, whether you're making a print, whatever you're doing, but it, but it was about trusting the, your instincts as an artist and trusting your skill as a printmaker to be able to create things, and it worked. Making is more important than talking, and I think the 24-hour thing is actually about making because you can't talk about it, because if you talk about it, there's nothing left. You know, there's no time left to make, so it, it's about making and making decisions and trusting what you do and trusting what's around you, and that's kind of where it goes. You know? tiredness and everything else doesn't really register. Normally, I'd be done by now, but uh, this process just takes over and keeps you going. It forces you to make work that you might never ever make without this. You know, it forces you into a corner to make work and uh, I t I, I'm, looking I'm really looking forward to the outcome. Now is the time when, you know, it's one o'clock in the morning now. Now is the time when all the real work is starting to happen. It's starting to get exciting. It's a, it's a weird thing. This was, the, this was the simplest of ideas. And now we've done it, you know, in northern Spain. We've done it all over the place. We've been all over Ireland with it. We're going again. I think it'll be global 
next year with 10 studios doing it at the same time. And you go, there's nothing to this. And actually the only times we've done it that you've added things in or tried to make it more complicated, it hasn't worked as well. You know, because you're trying to tie people into doing something and people get hassled about that. Yeah. You can, if we can make a, a, a network of people who can think in the same kind of manner and want to take it on in the same kind of manner and fucking play with it, then, um, then you're making something proper, you know.